Hi, this is part two of how to deal with difficult people. This part, I decided to talk about cunning, deceitful manipulators, or what I like to call CDMs. First of all, I have to be clear on the fact that I'm not a psychologist. I am a business consultant with experience working around difficult people. I made up the term cunning, deceitful manipulator. I don't think it's out there in literature, and I... Uh, called it CDMs for short, it might not be the correct scientific description for the difficult personality I'm talking about, but I tried to use the words that might best describe this person. Now, my purpose is to share my experiences dealing with this type of people and the people who exhibit similar behavior. Here, I will try to define what I mean by cunning, deceitful manipulators, or CDMs for short. Also, it's very important to recognize their effect on others and I will go over some tips on how to deal with them. First of all, I have to say that uh, CDMs are very hard to catch. They are, from the term, they are cunning, they use trickery, uh, they are deceitful, uh, they are underhanded, they try to actually hide their intentions, and they are very manipulating, they know how to play with your emotions. That makes them very hard to catch. Now, the best way to catch them is by knowing how you feel around them so you have to be aware of how you feel usually and again we have to talk about people who do this consistently usually they make you feel discomfort uh, discomfort around them they put you down you, f you might feel hurt or you might find yourself thinking a lot about what they said for a long time or finding out that it, that what they said actually hurt you even though you did not feel as such during the discussion or conversation. Their behavior is recurrent. Uh, they make you do things for them. Uh, they only appreciate you when you do what they want. And they are moody about you. One day you are the best person there is, and the other day they cannot believe such a human being exists. Uh, things they usually do, they pretend to be on your side while working against you. They work against you behind your back, subliminally, and unfortunately, they do that when they find you most vulnerable. Uh, they don't hurt you directly. They uh, hurt you subliminally, as I said. And uh, they do that to serve their purpose. One way to know them is uh, they become very aggressive when they are confronted, on when they are told they are wrong, on where they feel they are going to lose to you or when uh, they feel you are winning an argument, they become very aggressive. You can also tell uh, this type of manipulators uh, by the uh, words they use and how they manipulate you. They usually go and try to look really innocent and easygoing. I say, you know, I'm not trying to put you down, but you really are. And then they say something hurtful or negative. They always start by putting you at ease, like, uh, you know, we're not trying to hurt you, we really like you, but you are so and so. And sometimes uh, when you actually face them and confront them with what they do, they are going to use things like, you, it's your fault, it's because of what you did, I'm uh, acting this way. Uh, they even try to uh, have, uh, have you pity them by saying, you know, I hate myself because of how you make me feel or how you uh, behave with me or because you're not giving me so and so. You know, watch for any subtle statements or sarcasm that try to put you down. Now, these people are most dangerous when they are in constant contact with you. When they are a husband or a wife or a boss or a co-worker or a close friend. Now, my advice to you, if you know someone like this, if you can, please stay away from this kind of personality because really they can do some serious psychological damage but again we have to be realistic and know sometimes we cannot run away from this kind of person now uh, the, these people it's amazing how many people fit this description and you might also start thinking about some of the people that made you feel hurt or uncomfortable well, you, you are not sure why these people are extremely smart. Uh, they uh, are, if, if they are in business, usually they are in uh, a leadership position, believe it or not, and because they know how to manipulate, 
they know how to deceive they use deceit manipulation uh, trickery to actually get where they need in the organization see most people most people will actually have values and they're not going to trespass on these values just to get a personal gain not this type of personality he will do or she will do anything in their power whether ethical or unethical to get what they want these people are at work and also in personal life now how do we deal with the cunning deceitful manipulating people first of all we need to have the right attitude we have to know that they are some of the toughest personalities to deal with remember that it's not your fault how they are behaving or a reaction to something bad you've done even if they try to convince you that it is another important point you can never win fair and square against one of them so don't even try remember they don't play fair instead what you need is to maneuver around them and outsmart them remember to never get absorbed by their drama no matter how good an actor they are don't let them define the stage for the fight sometimes they try they're really cunning and uh, preparing and organizing and they try to set up the fight in a way that will favor them and finally never trust anything they say to you no matter how sincere they try to look these people are sick and I don't mean it in a demeaning way also you have to have the right preparation now to prepare to deal with these people you need to lear learn about their tactics what are their ways how do they act around you you know try to expose them learn about them learn about what they really are another thing I advise you to do is to have around you a social support network of people who support you who are positive around you this will help tremendously remove the effects of someone who is cunning deceitful manipulator if you can please seek help from a supervisor from someone at home from someone with authority uh, you know someone who can help you and guide you from a friend from a doctor seek help where possible it is okay to seek help does not mean that you are weak do lots of activities that boost your morale like sports sports are excellent to help you feel good about yourself try to actually be have disciplines and routines that help you build confidence in yourself remember if you fall to their tactics that does not mean you're bad or you're weak you know just get up try to feel better learn from the scenario and try to find smart ways to deal with this hurtful situation if you are faced with it again most people fall to uh, fall into the traps of such personalities i need you to think about the right actions the right actions to take is first of all set the rules of engagement when you have when you absolutely have to deal with such a person make sure that you set the rules of engagement in your favor right in a way that you will not get hurt don't let them drag you into their manipulation point out their inappropriate behavior you know if they do something that doesn't make you feel comfortable point it out and bring it up okay instead that they insist that they stop doing that okay if you have to if they don't stop walk out no need to fight you cannot win against these people refuse to engage them refuse to tolerate their behavior tell them exactly what you want them or do not want them to do here are some practical tips remember that they are can be outsmarted most of them are spoiled kids inside speak to their sick mind show them what is in it for them from what you are proposing this works all the time prepare well before any engagement with them don't just walk in right minimize the engagement as much as possible give them what they want for a return of what you want don't give them things for free never excuse their actions no matter why they are doing what they're doing don't excuse their actions even if what they say is true about you know that it is irrelevant they are trying to put you down they are trying to manipulate you they are not hurt by what you do stop feeling guilty they pretend to be hurt so you feel guilty and they control you you will see lots of these people at work now most people hopefully do not fit this description but some do now when you are confronted and having to deal with people like uh, these cunning deceitful manipulators you have to trust your gut feeling you know sometimes we um, doubt ourselves that maybe we are doing something wrong you know because they are really 
good at manipulating us so you have to protect yourself you have to have your own strategy on how to deal with these people don't be naive as I said while most people are good at heart this type is not good at heart remember that not everybody will see their deceit see this is part of the confusion they try to create around you so uh, you would doubt yourself you know they might not use their trickery and uh, deceitful ways around everybody at the same time you know they choose sometimes you feel like they, they choose their victims carefully and do not assume you can change them no one can according to some of the books I looked at even psychologists end up falling in their traps once in a while one way we can all help is to share our experiences with such people most people deal with cunning deceitful manipulators on daily basis and it is not easy if we share our experiences together here maybe we can help each other with ideas tips uh, things that you've tried and work things that did not work this is a major problem even if you have one person at work who fits these descriptions they might turn the workplace into a very difficult uncomfortable environment same thing at home if you have somebody like this at home they can easily turn the whole environment into a very toxic unhealthy environment the world today unfortunately is producing these types maybe more than ever because of the corruption that is around us we all know about the financial situation in the world and also because of the I mentality everything is about me I have to win and I don't care if anybody else loses I read a couple of books that talk about personalities that seem so close to what I'm talking about here one of them is by Dr. Jo George K. Simon it was actually an eye-opener for me the book is called In Sheep's Clothing and he talks about a personality uh, that is called covert aggressive person also I read a book by uh, Wendy Bihari about the narcissist called the Dis disarming the narcissist also seems like a very similar personality and I'm talking here mainly uh, I'm not trying to interpret what are in these books but I'm talking here mainly from my personal experience and what I have learned from these books and from dealing with people who actually exhibit such behavior one final word of caution if they are confronted the cunning deceitful manipulators will fight you all the way and never admit it so don't waste your breath on that okay you will become the enemy and when you become the enemy you will be uh, further put under the scrutiny and further put under their tyranny and under their deceitful ways they will always find a hundred excuses not to believe you or even to make you doubt yourself by saying this is a psychology waste of time what do these people know it's not me who has this problem you have a bigger problem which is so and so etc final word of advice I feel that prayer and asking God for help always helps build confidence and helps you get over hurdles like this thank you and good luck